Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our series. Now, let's uh, hide the UI real quick and go through what are our plans. In the previous one, we, well, we talked about what we'd like to do around this area in the future. And we also managed to, well, build the paper mill, but then we realized, well, we actually didn't realize until I read the comments that we didn't have power going through. So what I've done real quick is put a couple of platforms in here so that way we would have a bit of a stockpile of paper. And with the explosives factory, that's almost done as well. We just need a couple more gears and a few more metal blocks as well. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, we're pretty close. They've also built those stairs leading up. And right now what's going on over here is that they are starting to build those levees and the dams as well. Just so uh, hopefully... Well, it's, we're not going to be able to achieve this before the drought starts. But after the drought, this dam should be ready. And we shall also start building another one just up there. In the previous one, I talked a little bit about the food and the numbers that I've been putting together as well. So um, there was a few guesses based on what people have observed or noticed themselves or from other people that upload videos about Timberborn as well. Well, essentially there wasn't really a very, no, I think no one was really sure what, what it exactly is. So what I did is I observed this for a little bit and it seems um, when it comes to chestnuts and the maple syrup, and I'm assuming it's the same for the, uh, for the resin as well. It seems that we get 1% every two hours roughly. So that means for for the chestnuts or maple syrup to mature or be ready. That's about 200 hours or 8.3 days. So that's a very rough estimate that I that I have. And uh, until someone says that is wrong, I'm just going to use that number in my calculation. So then I can figure out what sort of sizes we want for the farms as well. But that will be for another video right now. Let's speed up the time real quick. Drought should be here any second now. And let's just quickly check how far are we again. Okay, it's just one more gear. So that's fine in the, on the next day or in the next day. But metal block six, I don't know if you can get six in a day. Let's have a look. Do we have, you have scrap metal here and stuff. Okay, I guess if we prioritize you, maybe we get some more beavers bringing some scrap metal over. Okay, we've got a couple of haulers coming in. How many are you carrying? Two. Okay. All right, well, that's all right. We'll get a few in there and we might get enough in, uh, well, today, I suppose. What about you, beaver boys and girls? We've got one dam already in place. Just need a... Okay, they should be doing this levy now, right? Yeah, because they can't really walk on top of that one. And what would probably be great if this takes a bit of a priority. Uh, oh, yeah, the drought started. Okay, so no more water here. Let's bring this back up. And what we should probably also do we should open these ones up instead so as soon as you're done here let's see we'll observe, observe the waterfall that is done now so let's pause you now another thing um that we would like to do in this episode i think we won't be able to do the waterway or the canal that goes around the mountain just to make it a bit more green i think that's going to be more of a future project but we do have some stairs queued up on this side as well and once we're done with the dams and uh, everything on the other side, or right next to the lake here, then we'll move towards uh, towards here. And I'm hoping to put some things in place. But, um, well, we've got 1,377 science points right now. But when we go to metal, uh, one of those mines takes 4,000 science, which is pretty painful. Uh, we could go for the observatory. That's only 1,000 just to speed up our research efforts, but... Uh, that's gonna take another 200 power and yeah we're sitting at on zero right now so that's not too good yeah but definitely have to improve our power situ situation and i was thinking well maybe we should go for those large water uh, windmills instead they do take gears however once this uh, explosives factory is done yeah we should we should have the gears and the paper's coming in pretty quick as well so i guess we we could it's it's just so much science and if we build those large windmills or unlock them at least that's another 1400 down uh and then we have to start all over again yeah decisions 
or priorities should I say. But okay, I'm just gonna let the beavers construct uh, these last bits in here around the place. And once that is done, I will be jumping back in. Alright, so we have finished constructing both of the dams. Because there are, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 water sources. Trying to squeeze through this uh, too wide gap. I have a feeling we are in for a flood. We also have our explosives factory complete. And we've uh, produced how many explosives already for? I think think it is probably pretty safe uh, oh no we have to spend 600 points just to get the dynamites oh dear that was painful but i have a feeling this is a must so yeah let's put one one of those dynamites in there and we may potentially have to well there was six in here that might have to be six wide in here as well but we'll uh, you know we'll see how it goes now, what we'll also do is let's just clear this up so when the need arises, we will have this space to further widen the dam or the canal in here. Now, I was also thinking about the science points and things. And, and yeah, with all those new buildings that we have and the amount of science they take, I think it's safe to say that this is probably very, very much needed change uh, to get the observatory so what we are doing now actually to get the to build the observatory we are gonna need a resin and to collect the resin we have to plant pine trees which we are doing here but this area now is dry well that's okay this seems to be still be pretty fertile so how about we put a couple more rows just about here how far can we go we could even do a few in there i suppose so let's change this up and okay yes you are within the limits now and we are gonna have to build a dapper's shack to collect the pine resin and well maple syrup in the future as well if we or when we are gonna use it uh, right, so you are going to take another 500 points. Uh, that is very painful. And you're also going to require gears. Well, it's only 10. I suppose we will live. But, okay. So this is probably the area where we would like to place you down. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a pretty solid location here. Okay, yeah. Take the, take the gears. That's okay. We'll get you built. And how many days did you take again? For oh, the pine trees. That was 12. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's just make sure we're not cutting this down. No, we are not. Yeah, let's reduce this zone here as well, because that's pretty much done. Don't really care about these ones anymore, do we? And not sure. Oh, okay. You got stuck in here. Well, that's not really my fault, is it? I mean, it's it's really sad. Don't get me wrong. But why would you go here? Ah, uh, those beavers. Well, we've lost one. Ah. <sighs> And I thought this series is going to be better, more safer, but no, I guess we'll manage. Yeah, well, anyways, we've got the dynamite now in place, so let's just put another uh, another dam just about here. Bit of a higher priority because the flood or the rainy season will arrive in about 0 0.5 days. And the tapper shack is ready, but we're not really going to need anyone here until those binds are matured. But... That's probably going to take quite a bit of time. So let's expand our forest actually just a little bit. Let's have a look. Yeah, you're still within the range. And I'm not really sure how much resin we're going to need right now. So we'll have a bit, bit more spare. Okay, power is still an issue. And I have a strong feeling that those large windmills are the other way to go. But we only have 900 points right now. And we also want to improve our science. Which is a thousand, so yeah, we do have enough dynamites now. Well, you can only store up to five, which also means we should probably build more warehouses. Okay, we've got a couple in here, but for these ones, I was hoping. Let us have a look. Where are the grilled potatoes? Somewhere here. Let's uh, expand the storage for you as well. And for the dynamites, well, where shall we... Let's just do um, one maybe here. Yep, that, that should be fine. We'll store dynamites in this one. Paper is almost full. 
And uh, once these ones have a bit more capacity, oh, that was quick. Uh, once they have more capacity or they're more full, then we can pause the dynamite production and same for the paper as well. Uh, did I miss the dynamites? Oh, explosives. Yeah, that's what they called. Empty storage. Nope. Let's uh, fill this up as much as we can. All right, so we're doing the binds. That's great. Just going to take quite a bit of time. So 12 days until we get that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a long time. Right, let's have a look what's happening in here. Are we expecting a flood? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Now, the drought is over, so we don't really need you in there anymore. Let's uh, stick you in these water pumps instead. Okay, and... Oh, look at that. We've also... Oh, there was a bit of a flood. We've got the stairs in place as well, which is great. I'd like to see what's the, what's the reach like. Um... I guess the good old district uh, trick will help us out. Yeah, just to clear it up a little bit, I suppose. And uh, let's see, where are you going to go? From here, I guess we'll go also through here. That's where we start going down a little bit. We'll have buildings. And uh, we're also going to have the waterways. That's probably the next thing we should figure out. Um, where do we want to put those waterways through? Oh, yeah. Okay, a lot of logs. Um, well, we're going to have to do it through the higher levels if we want this area to look, to look green. So that's for sure. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. So we can place them down and have the beavers construct as much as they can reach. And then what we'll do is, once we have a few more or spare unemployed beavers, we will just start transferring them every every day or so. Uh, right, so district center, where were you again? Okay, and right about here. Yeah, I guess that will be fine. We'll plop you down here. Let's pause you for the time being. And then we'll clear up this area. Get rid of... Are you able to reach all of them? Yes, you are from about there. Okay, maybe about four beavers so we can get the job done real quick. Gate right about there. And okay, yeah. That should be fine. Let us have a look. Okay, so we are not really causing a flood in here, which is great. I guess there isn't as much water coming through as I was afraid. So that's fine. This seems to be okay as well. You must be producing quite a bit of power, aren't you? Yeah, okay. So that's pretty decent. And you guys as well. So we've got a bit of an excess on that end. So I guess what I'll do is we'll wait a little bit i'll try and also get the population up just a tiny bit i think food wise what's going on oh you already full well you look at that okay it's sweet yeah so i'll do a bit of work around this area and we'll try and um you know start moving up here as well and i'll put a actually it would be great if we could put a couple of dams in here open this up and let a little bit water towards here I don't think we can reach all the way there very easily just yet. But yeah, that's what I'll probably do. So I'll be back in a second uh, once we have a bit more progress in. All right, I think we have a bit more progress in. So a couple things. Let's have a look real quick. I have planned in all the levees around the mountain. Well, not all, but most of it. And the beavers are slowly putting them in place as well. Then we also have these dynamites in and I had to put dams a little bit closer because that's uh, too far from the beavers. We're not going to open this one up just yet because we don't have a lot of water left in here. And uh, then, well, we are we can explode these ones and uh, we'd like to start deepening this area as soon as we can. And how should we go? Should we let them know? I guess we'd have to go straight down in order to make it, uh, what was it, uh, six deep from this level. I think in the future, the bumps will most likely be around here, the water bumps, because the living space is there, workplaces, food, and then our water reservoir will be right about there. So yeah, the stairs can go there. What I've also done, I've added in one of those campfires, as Dave mentioned in the comments in the previous video, and campfires are very useful for the youngsters to speed up their growth a little bit as well. And then uh, what I forgot to mention actually, I did check the comments real quick as well, 
just to remind myself what was in there because the last time I recorded or played Timberborn was actually about a week ago. I have to sort of record them um, in a batch just because things are a little bit busier. But anyways, so I checked the comments and uh, Dry's Clan had a couple of really good mentions in there. The first one was um, about the districts and how we're doing things and exporting stuff. So I think I mentioned pretty much in the first episode that we would like to go for a slightly bigger population if we can, of course. And in order to make it work, we will have to be pretty clever about how we build things. And one of my goals was not to really go crazy on the district uh, centers or the distribution and moving goods around between districts. So what we did in Folktales, for example, where we had a bit more specialized districts as well. Uh, so in this one, I'd like them to produce most of the essentials uh, locally. But uh, what Trice Clan said was that um, we could still have a slightly smaller uh, specialized district where they produce some sort of like um, luxury goods. So that could be some of the more advanced uh, recipes for the food that are not really necessary, but it's kind of nice to have that extra bit of bonus. So I quite like that idea. So thank you very much for that one. And uh, another thing he also mentioned was it would be pretty cool to have like a one central capital district that essentially houses the biggest of the projects and this is essentially, you know, a capital. Use the Hunger Games as a bit of a, an example as well, where we have those uh, little districts that basically just export everything they have in order to make sure that our high-class beavers are well looked after. Even though I really like this idea, I'm not sure if we're gonna do it here. As I said, kind of wanna reduce our how much we rely on the distribution centers because that's just a huge beaver power that's required um, to move goods around i mean of course we can be smart about it but all the logistical movement of things i think we can save uh, a few jobs and um, have them in in some other areas of course this may change as we progress into the game but i just wanted to throw it out and uh, share a couple of my thoughts about what was mentioned as well but i do like those ideas now okay so yeah levies are going in place so are the dynamites uh, we do have the campfire what i've also done real quick in here actually i realized it a little too late but we already had those pine trees in with the resin so yeah i wasted another 10 gears we've got a storage building here as well so we're collecting some resin which actually means I was able to put a couple of platforms in here and unlock the observatory which could be built i th think right about here so 30 gears yep how many do we have we we only have 12. Uh, but that's because we're uh, most likely the power issues but we'll get this in with the dynamites uh, we got 51 already and paper we can cut those buildings out for the purpose of uh, making sure that the observatory is running. So how much power are you taking? 80, 150, okay. So we could already save quite a bit over there. Yeah, so when it's windy, I don't think we need to close them up, but when the power drops, then that is definitely an option. And I guess the next thing as well, I'd really like to go for those bigger ones, but it's just the gears really. It is such a bottleneck and what are you doing? Oh. Are you full? Yes, you're full. Okay, so we have to fix that. I'm glad I finally noticed this one. But we, we, we do want you working pretty much. Well, how many hours are you doing? 16 hours. Okay, full 16 hours. You should be making those gears. Let's give this the highest priority. We'll store gears in this one. We don't want any of the beavers working in gear workshops uh, slacking off at all. So as soon as this warehouse is built, which I assume is going to be tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. It does look like so. Okay, another 6.2 days. And uh, do we have the staircase as well? Yes, we do. Okay, so we could start going a little bit lower already. 55 in the bank right now. And I'm um, thinking, are we going to need those dynamites uh, anywhere else? Is, are there any more higher priorities? I don't think so. Yeah, the rest is probably fine in here. So we're free to use those dynamites in our reservoir efforts over there and the water is dropping really low 
Oh yeah, we should probably also lower the river system in here. Yeah, the next droughts that are going to be more than 10 days will most likely cause us problems unless we do something about it. I know how we really wanted to get this area done, but right now it seems like just too many things are coming up. And, uh, oh well, okay, let's see what we can do. <laughs> What's the bigger, biggest priority? Probably not this in here, because we can't get the mine in anyways. Water, however, I feel is a little bit more important. So how about we allow the beavers to, where can you climb down? This should probably be a pretty decent location. So how about you climb down from there? Oh, we should do it also over there i suppose okay well anyways the small warehouse is down it's been built gears can we find them yes we can any spare gears you have please store them in there and well they're not gonna be any spares just yet we're waiting for the observatory to be built and where are all those beavers going i swear i've already built at least Three more houses in this episode that's another extra nine beavers but somehow i guess we've been grading more and more charms for them even though it doesn't feel like we've built so many hmm oh you guys have already depleted this section in here yep that is um that is not great 4.3 days and that's all dry as well oh dear Okay, I think water-wise we'll be able to survive with 400 for 4 days. Wait, how many beavers do we have? Uh, yep, we should be fine. Food-wise as well. Well, I guess now is the best time to really uh, fix this up as much as we can. Um, middle bits will be the priority. Science they can do from the top or the higher levels as well. Now they can do those from the corners, but I'll just place them there anyways. How many dynamites do we still have? 61. Okay. I mean, I guess we could figure this out as well. We'd have to change the dams for levy um, floodgates, I suppose. Nah, let, let's do this first. Let's get this done as much as we can. So at least having two layers in here will be, will be good. And yeah, we really did empty it all out well there is a little bit left in here uh well harvest as much as you can beavers are uh, they all they're all dead okay three days 360 water in the bank i think it's probably also pretty uh, pretty important to get another one of those tanks up isn't it well you're so close to being complete so how about we let them finish the observatory we'll pause another one see if there's anything more important we can uh, we can send them to. Where are they all going? Honestly, we just took two of them out from there. They've gone somewhere. Or I guess... Oh, okay. So quite a few have actually died. And we've got a whole bunch of children waiting to grow up as well. So our workforce uh, should increase very soon. I hope those pine trees aren't going to die. No, they've got another 12 days. So that should be okay. Well, there isn't any more pine uh, resin to collect. So how about we pause you? And we already have 80 or 90 in the bank, so that's that's fine as well. And okay, so we've got resin there too. Not really necessary or needed right at this moment. Right, so a couple of unemployed beavers, which is great. Two days, 260. Yeah, we'll make it. It's going to be close, but we'll make it. Totally forgot about that. You already have a dynamite in there as well. Um, they're not going to be able to reach. Have you put a dynamite in here? No, you have not. Okay, so that's great. What we shall do... Uh, waste a few blanks. But I think it's needed. Get this down. There was dynamites in place as well. And I guess same, same with you. How many do we still have? 30. Okay, plenty. Now please put in the last of those dynamites. I think we should be done. Yes, we are. Great. Okay, wonderful. I think here we're not going to deepen this any any further. We should probably do this side. And let's be just a tiny bit smarter this time. We'll have a road. Oh, okay. There is a little bit of water there as well. That's good. Get in as many dynamites as we can. Whilst we're doing that, housing, not housing, water. 
not the deep ones. I think these will be enough. So one over here, one over here. Yep, that should be fine. And now you can go out from here as well. And we can do one more dynamite. Okay, so at least the farms, this should keep them somewhat alive. Uh, probably smarter to change you over to potatoes that are right next to the water. But let's see, you guys can build those. We shall also get, start putting in some dynamites on this side. How many do we still have? 28, okay. Okay, not too bad. Can give them another access from elsewhere. Couple here and a couple over there. Let's do that. That is good and we'll speed up the time. Okay, beautiful. We didn't really get this section done. I think I'm okay with that. Have we done the observatory? Ooh, okay, so all the resources are in, which is great. Power-wise, yeah, we'll be, we'll be okay. We've got a few unemployed beavers as well. I suppose you could help out with a couple of things here and there. Okay, two of you are done, which is great. Next focus, and well, you look at that. We do have the observatory, and that's going to make quite a few research points. So let's have four beavers in here. That changes the efficiency, doesn't it? No. So why do we need four beavers if we can... Oh, productivity. There we go. Okay. Nice. Well, we keep that one full. Let's pause one more just for now. 0 0.7 days. Very close to being done. I think you can go as well. Do you have any water in here? Check for the other ones, but... Okay. Fix this up. We are going to need another water bump. Just about. Let's do it here. Uh, okay. I'm just really glad we had enough food in the in the bank. Would be nice to have more water as well. Getting this um, reservoir done is probably going to take the priority over our mining efforts. So I guess if they are free, we can carry on constructing this area or developing it. Because we still have a lot of metal around this area here and we probably don't need two beavers collecting that because we have quite a bit of metal already yep let's do that dynamite is probably more important right now and getting the water up so okay at least we know what we need to do in the next episode or i might do it in between episodes as well just to improve our water situation a little bit so that way when I start recording the next one, we'll, we'll be a bit more stable and prepared. So we could focus more on de developing this area here. Uh, yeah, so that's what we'll do. And I think that's where we are going to now cut the episode as well. Thank you very much for joining in this one. Feel free to drop any suggestions below the video as well. It's been great reading through those and um, I hope to see you again in the next one.